Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to build our own CAPTCHA and for this we are going to use uh, Next.js and React. So uh, let me show you how it works. So here we, had, here we have some message. So let me just put this here. And here, as you can see, we need to select all dogs. So I will take this one, this one, this one, and this one. And that's it. That's it. Now, if I click send, it checks the captcha and it says message sent. Uh, let me try again. If I put this here and I select those and I will also pick this, then it will say wrong captcha try again so the message hasn't been sent so uh, yeah uh, that's uh, how it works all right so uh, now let's jump into the code all right so here on my left side as you can see i have just opened an empty directory for our project called captcha and here on the right side i have uh, my google chrome window so now I will start by opening terminal here in this uh, directory and I will create a new next app here. So I will do yarn create a next app and uh, just a dot here. So it will install this next app here in this current directory. And uh, you can do the same thing with npx. I'm using yarn because it's a little bit faster and, uh, and now it's installed. So let's see, we have some uh, files and directories and now we just need to start our app. So let's do yarn dev. And as you can see, it gave us this uh, URL. So let's open this one. Yeah, so we have this welcome to Next.js page. And uh, let's see, let's open pages here and index. And as you can see here, we have our index page. So we will start by removing all of this and we will just leave an empty div. So uh, now it's uh, empty here. We don't need this home module CSS or next image or next head. So we'll remove all of those. Yeah. And also from styles and uh, from styles, I will remove this home module. So let's do delete. And now let's see, we have some global CSS. Let's leave it for now. Let's go to our pages and then index.js where we have our just uh, empty div. All right, so uh, in this page, we are going to have a simple form. Uh, for me, it will be just uh, like a contact form. For you, it can be anything like user registration or something else. But basically, I would just put an empty input here and it will say just, uh, uh, let's put the placeholder here. And uh, let's say it will be message, yes. And now let's also put, uh, button underneath that will say send all right and uh, between the input and the button we will have a div with a captcha inside for now it's just a text but later we'll fix it so uh, first i think i will fix some simple css so it will look a little bit better so inside globals css i will put some inside body let's add some padding of 30 pixels and uh, Let's also change this main div here inside our homepage to a main as an element. So it will be easier to grab it here in our CSS. And let's put, uh, let's make this one width of uh, 300 pixels and let's do a margin of uh, zero auto. So it will be centered. Yes. Now uh, let's maybe make this uh, input and button a little bigger. So let's do input and button let's add some padding let's say five pixels and uh, let's maybe add some margin here as well margin from the top and the bottom let's say 10 pixels and zero on the sides and now for the input i will add the width of a uh, hundred percent so it will take all the width yeah and uh, for the button i will add some extra padding so uh, let's say five pixels on the top and the bottom and uh, 30 on the sides. Yeah, so it's a little bigger. All right, so uh, now let's jump back to our index page. And as you can see for now, we have only captcha as a text here, but now uh, we need to build this as a component, I think. So uh, I will create a new directory for our React components and I will call this one just components. All right, and here I will create a new file and it will be just captcha 
index.js. And inside, I would do just uh, export default function capture, as always with all React components. And let's see, inside, let's just uh, return a div that will say capture goes here. And now let's use this component. So instead of uh, this capture inside homepage in index file, let's put our capture component here like this. And it has been imported for me. If it hasn't been imported for you, you need to add this line. Right, so here we have our capture. I can put it in separate row and we see capture goes here. Right, so uh, let's get into this component and uh, let's uh, fix our capture. So basically our capture will be nine images. So uh, let's maybe put some class name on this image, uh, on this div, sorry. And it will be capture images like this, or maybe just capture. And inside this, we will have a capture images, images, yeah. And here we'll have some text like, let's say h2, uh, select all dogs, right? And here we want to put uh, nine images of the dogs. So uh, I think that first maybe we can define those images here. So we'll have an, like an array of strings to those uh, images. So let's call this one image locations. And here inside we will have, a, this will be an array of nine uh, strings, locations to our images. So um, let's say that for now it will be a new array of nine elements. And uh, we need to fill it with empty values, nulls, so, we'll, so we can map through those. Otherwise, map functionality will not work. All right, but now we can do map and uh, we can map through those values. So um, I'll put an arrow function here. And here I can define um, every source for each image. So let's say it will be just, uh, it will go like uh, public images and uh, one, two, three, that PNG, just for now. Uh, right, but uh, the first thing is we can't have images with the same uh, addresses. So um, instead of doing this, I will actually use API to generate images for me. So let's say the path will be slash API slash uh, capture image slash and here like one, two, three, four, five, that PNG, right? But now here we need to put a number, number that should be, as you can see, we have nine elements inside this array and this should be from one to nine. So the const number, and this will be actually an index depending where we are at uh, this mapping. So uh, here, when we are mapping, the first parameter that we can use here is value, the second is index. So let's use those two. And um, index actually starts with uh, zero, but uh, I think this will work. So we can use index here, but as you can see, we are just defining number to be indexed and then we are putting this number here. So I think we can just use the index directly here. Right, so uh, now let's maybe put those uh, image locations here inside our capture images. So um, let's map through those image locations. Map, and let's say that every value will be source. And uh, let's say that every image will be inside a separate div. And here we'll just do image, the source will be source or maybe we can rename it to location or image URL. Yeah, I think this will be better. So here, image URL, and now let's save. And as you can see, uh, the send button has been moved. Now let's see how it looks like inside HTML. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So as you can see, inside capture images, this div, we have uh, nine divs. And let's see, inside every div, we have an image with a uh, slash API slash capture image, slash zero dot PNG, slash one PNG, and so on to eight PNG. It's eight because we are starting with zero. All right, but uh, now maybe let's uh, let's style this capture. So we'll put like uh, white boxes or something. So uh, let's go to our globals. Uh, we will not have that much of uh, CSS. So that's why I'm using only one CSS file 
but uh, let's do capture images and let's say background will be white yeah so it's white let's put the width of 300 pixels same with have let's do 300 pixels yes and uh, now let's say that uh, every diff inside capture images uh, should be should have like a border of one pixel solid red so now i can see uh, we need to make a grid of those so the first should be here the second should be here and so on so inside the capture images i will do display of type uh, grid and now i will use uh, grid template columns and here i would just do one fr one fr one fr so we'll have three columns with the same size yeah and uh, now it looks okay so uh, now it will be nice to put some real images instead of those white boxes so um let's go back to our capture component and let's see all right so we have different urls for each for each image and we are using api for we are going to use api for generating those images so uh, as you can see we need this api endpoint it will be captcha image slash uh, zero dot png or something like this um, but i think i will actually change it to a uh, captcha image and uh, here i will do index equals so we can use uh, just one endpoint and if you do extra slash here you would need to create endpoint for uh, every thing that is after this slash but yeah this way it will be a little bit simpler right so uh, the images will go like this slash api slash capture image and then question mark index equals zero and so on so it will go down here with index equals three and yeah you get the idea now let's go to api and we need to create this uh, capture image so let's create new file capture image.js right so uh, let's create the new function here so let's do export default function let's call this one handler and as always with uh, next.js we get the request and response and uh, now maybe we can uh, just uh, respond with just one image doesn't matter what we get inside params let's just uh, show only one image so for this endpoint to respond with an image we just need to do a response and we need to set header to image png and now we need to do also response send and we need to send the image here we don't uh, we don't have an images yet inside our public directory we just have some f uh, icons uh, here five icons so uh, i will copy my images docs and muffins so let me copy it here i will put everything inside the description and on my github so we can grab the uh, images from there and let's let me just rename this yeah and so we have uh, inside public we have dogs and muffins and inside this directory we have a lot of images uh, so we have dog from uh, from 1 to 10 and then we have also muffins from 1 to 13 right and now we are going to respond with just one image let's say let's start with this one so uh, let's go to our capture image and let's say that we want to just respond uh, doesn't matter what we have here if it's index zero or one two three doesn't matter we will just put one image so we'll see it if it works so uh, we need we need to read the file first so uh, let's use uh, file system functions uh, so we need fs and read file sync and as you can see this is not defined yet but uh, we can def uh, we can import it here so let's do import everything uh, as fs from fs all right and uh, now we want to read the uh, file so let's say we'll go to public and then uh, I think it was dogs and muffins muffins slash and let's say dog one dot png yes and now we will put inside image or 
maybe image buffer and now we'll just respond with image buffer and i think that's all now let's see what happens if i just reload nothing happens maybe i need to see here if we have any errors yeah i think we'll, i know what's wrong first header has uh, two params the first is actually content type so it's the name of the header and then the value of the header so here we should put uh, image png now maybe if i refresh yeah we have a lot of uh, dogs so first let me quickly go uh, to global css and to fix those images we need to put that uh, for all images the max width should be 100 percent so now they are in line uh, i will also remove this border because we don't need this and now i think it looks uh, all right it's maybe a little bit outside of the white box or maybe it's not i'm get rid of this cave yeah now it's a little bit better right but we can't use uh, the same uh, images for every position so let's go back to our endpoint and um, and the thing is that even if we grab the position param so as you remember i will click inspect on this image as you can see we get index three and uh, we can grab it from here so let's say index equals request query index so we can do also console log index and now let's see if i scroll down and if i refresh you can see that we get a lot of uh, those indexes well it should be 0.png so let's change it inside our captcha we can get rid of this dot png yeah and now we get only numbers from 0 to 8 so let's go back to our captcha image and we can remove this console log because we know what's inside index now the thing is even i want to generate nine images or maybe not generate but assign i want to create an array of images images and here i want to put uh, paths to those images but the thing is i want our app to remember so even if someone refresh our app i want to have the same images on the same positions so if this doc was on the position four i want it to be on position four until someone uh, sends the form here or uh, tries to solve the captcha but uh, it didn't go uh, as planned or it was uh, wrong or something so to remember the images and positions of those images for specific uh, device or for a specific session we are going to use uh, session so i will open terminal and i will do yarn add and i will actually use iron session we could use like default next session and save information to the database or into files but the thing with uh, iron session is that we are going to save everything inside a cookie an encrypted cookie so information will be saved saved inside a cookie and it will be encrypted so even if we send images and paths and positions to the user to the browser inside the cookie the, the information is encrypted so they cannot see what's actually inside All right so uh, now let's open the yarn and let's see how to use this uh, iron session let's open this readme and uh, let's see so uh, here we have our handler and it just uh, sends some image but as you can see uh, to use this uh, iron session you just import this with iron session api route and you just wrap your function api function with this with uh, iron session api route as a first param so your function is a first param and then the second param is actually configuration so uh, i don't need to export it because we need to export this as the default so i will remove export default so now we just uh, put function handler we define our handler but we are not exporting this so this will not work as an api endpoint for now but now i will import this thing so let's make let me copy this and i'll put it here and now i can use it and i can 
export it as they are doing. So let's do export default and uh, with iron session API route. And as you remember, the first param is handler. So I'll put just handler because I defined it with the name handler. And the second param is configuration. So uh, here, let's see what do we need. Uh, we just need the uh, cookie and password, and this is optional. So let's put cookie name. And uh, let's say our cookie name will be just session. And now we need password. And um, I think that the best way is to store uh, passwords inside the uh, .env files. So our cred one here, .env. And let's call our password uh, session uh, secret. And the session secret, it will be a string. So we'll put those. And now we'll put some random password string ish. It should be at least uh, 32 characters long. So this should be enough. And now we can use it. So let's go back to pages, API capture image. And now for our password, let's use process.env.session secret. And here inside we have uh, our session secret string. All right. So uh, you shouldn't put those passwords inside your code. You should put it as a separate uh, variable inside the env. All right. So uh, now this should work and we should be able to use uh, session. So we can access session inside the request that we have here. And then we just need to save the session with request session save with a wait as well. And we could put this handler here inside and uh, it will look more like they have it. Uh, it doesn't make any difference, but uh, let's put it like this. All right. So we have an R we have an array of uh, images. We want to have an array of images, but for now it's just an, it's just an empty array. So um, this array of images, we want to put it inside session. So let's say that first we check if it is, if we have something inside the session. So a uh, request session, and let's say it will be called captcha images. So exclamation mark here. And if we don't have any captcha images, then we will define those captcha images here. Let's do request session captcha images. And here we will define those uh, images paths to those uh, images. All right. Uh, why we are putting uh, images here? Because if we would put, if we would use like a real, real uh, images here, like this one would be dog five, and this will be muffin three or something like this, then you can see the URLs, and then you can guess. Uh, a bot would guess. Okay. This is the name of this image is dog and uh, free, then it's a dog and I need to select dogs. So it's, uh, so this one should be selected, but instead we are using this uh, weird URLs here, as you can see, a uh, capture image and index zero. So, uh, so a bot can't guess what's inside the image just by looking on the image URL. All right. But here inside session, we want to save the real paths to the images. So those paths that we have inside this and the capture images can't be read inside the browser because this will be encrypted inside our session. Right. So here I want to put nine paths to nine random images. So let's maybe create a function here. Let's call this one uh, new, uh, sorry, function new capture images. And this should return and uh, let's say for now, a uh, new array of nine elements, All right? And the first thing I want to fill it with nulls so I can do map. And uh, for each position inside this array, I want to pick a random path to one of those images. So it can be either dog or muffin and any dog or any muffin. So first uh, let's define what should be the probability of a dog. Should it be 50-50 or more or less? Uh, let's say that the uh, dog probability will be 50%. So let's do const dog probability. Probability should be 50%. So I will do just uh, 0.5. Right. And uh, now for each uh, 
the value where we are mapping here, the values will be always null, and, but the indexes will change. So I will put it like this. And now I want to get a random image and just return it like uh, public slash dogs and muffins slash and here either dog or muffin then a random number and then that png so i'll put that png and i will change those to backticks so it will be easier to maneuver here and here i need to know if it's a dog or a muffin so let's just define it here uh, should should be dog and uh, this should be random 50 50 50 so let's do math random is uh, bigger or actually smaller than dog probability so if we change this to 0 0.1 then let's say this will be 0 0.3 then it's not smaller then should be dog will be false if it's 0 0.05 then it's smaller than dog probability and it will be a dog here it will be a true but we'll change it to 0 0.5 so it will be around 50 50 for this to be true right so um now um we need to uh, we know if it's if it should be a dog or not but now let's put a file name file name and uh, here we can check if it should be a dog then we will put dog otherwise it will be muffin and we will add also that png so here we can just put file name right so this file name will be either dog or muffin and then dog png dot png but actually we need also a random number for dog it should be from 1 to 10 and if it's muffin it should be a random number from 1 to 13 so uh, here there the dog or muffin and before we do that png we need to also add a random number here so let's say it will be a number here and now let's define this number equals and now uh, for the dogs and uh, we have uh, only 10 images so it should be from 1 to 10 but for muffins it should be from 1 to 13 All right uh, let's maybe define it like this let's use let and number will be one for now and here we will check if should be a dog then number equals and here we'll get random uh, number so to get this um, random number we need to do math random and here times number um, of how many images we have so for dog it's 10 so the times 10 and this should be math lore and plus one so um now it will now the number will be a random number from one to ten because for example if this uh, this can be only from zero to one excluding one as you can see here uh, it's a random number inclusive sorry inclusive zero but not one and it's between zero and one so if it's 0 0.3 then times 10 it will be three and plus one it will be four and the biggest uh, value it could be 0 0.99 let's say and then times 10 it will be 9.9 .9. Uh, but because we are doing ma uh, math floor so we are rounding down so from 9.9 .9, it will be 9 but we are also doing plus 1 so it will be 10 so the biggest value can be uh, 10 for the smallest value let's say it will be 0 0.00001 times 10 it will be still like 0 0.00010 or something so uh, if we run my floor on this it will be zero but on the end we are doing this plus one so it will be one so the smallest value on the number is actually uh, one so the smallest for dog will be one and the biggest will be 10 here so the number is correct now we can do the same for uh, if should be a dog is false so we can do actually number equals and the same but as you remember for uh, muffins it's up to 13 all right and uh, this is not used so we can remove it and uh, those two lines are almost the same so we can actually make it uh, make it much simpler so i'll copy this part for the dogs and as you can see the only thing that changes is this 10 and 13 
So I can actually remove this, put a parenthesis here, and here I can check if it should be a dog, then 10, otherwise a colon 13. And now I can remove this, and we are not going to update this uh, number, so I'll we'll put it as a constant. All right, so uh, now we have this uh, function, new capture images, that is not used yet, because we are setting our capture images inside session to just an empty array. So here, if capture images is empty, I will do new capture images, and uh, that should work. And after I update this, I need to save our session. So let's do await, request, session, save. And now because I'm using await, I need to put async here. And now everything should work. Um, but we are still returning this uh, dog1.png. As you remember, we have this uh, index here that changes from 1 to 8, uh, sorry, from 0 to 8, depending on what position we are uh, requesting. So uh, I could change this to index, but uh, we don't want to use just uh, the same dog every, every time. Instead, we want to use uh, this random capture images. So I will change those to backticks. And uh, actually, I don't need this part. I can just use uh, request session capture images. And now I want to get the uh, the proper index like this. And now let's see if I refresh, I have different images. All right, so as you can see, let me, let me inspect this one, for example. This one is a capture image of index five. And if I open this one, it's the same image. Why it has changed if I refresh here. Okay, now it works, I think. Yeah, now it works. And uh, I can refresh and the images are still the same. And I open this one, but I can close and I open another one, this one, for example, open image in new tab. And even if I refresh, I still have the same images, Sa same image. And the URL is capture image and the question mark index equals three. And the thing is that the correct path to this image is encoded in here inside session. But as you can see, it's not readable. It's uh, encrypted and there's no way a front user can uh, decrypt it without uh, the password. So uh, we have this and because we can, um, we can know what image is actually a, is actually a dog, by looking on the path, uh, the correct uh, file name, then we can say if it's if the captcha has been solved correctly or not. So let's say that uh, we will fix a functionality here that we can select dogs or images, let's say first and the second, and then someone will hit save. And then we can check if the first image and the second are the only dogs inside the captcha images because we have this, okay, let's say index zero, and we have this dog, even if we refresh, it's still the same dog. And the image, the URL for the user is capture image index zero, but inside our capture images, we actually have the correct URLs. So inside file name, we can check if it's a dog or it's a muffin. Right, I hope you understand this. And now we are going to fix the selection of those images. So let's go back to our uh, components and the capture. And for the selection, we need some kind of state. So let's do const and selected indexes and set selected, whoops, selected indexes equals use, use state and default will be an empty array. And now uh, let's say that uh, on those divs, we have a, uh, a div for every image, we can add uh, a class name depending if the image is selected, if this div is selected or not. So let's say if we have image URL, but we can actually use um, also the index here. So let me grab the index, index of image location inside this mapping. So uh, let's say if a selected indexes includes uh, index of whoops index 
of this div so for this the index will be zero for this one the index will be four if it's inside selected indexes then the class name will be selected and otherwise it will be no extra classes and uh, let's put it inside another row and here we also need on click event for selecting and unselecting the images so uh, let's say the name will be toggle index why not and i'll put a arrow function here and we will pass the current index for this uh, position so let's define this function here function toggle index and we get index as a param and let me first just alert this index so we can say it works if i click on this one it says six because it's zero one two three four five six all right so now i want to save this index inside the selected indexes so let's do set selected indexes and i will just first grab the previous value and uh, now i will return a new value so inside previous we get uh, an array of currently selected indexes but on the beginning it's an empty array so first i want to check if it's inside or not uh, and to check it i will check if uh, previous includes the index as i have in the param if it includes then i want to remove it so someone clicked on this image and it has been already selected i want to remove it from uh, on this previous and i want to return it so return previous and i want to return previous without this index so i will do filter on this array and i will check that uh, this uh, value inside we actually index is different than our index param here yes but if it's not inside so else i want to return the previous previous uh, so this array and the and i want to also add this new index so i want to also return index but this will not work from those two i want to create a new array like this but here we need to spread because this is already an array and this is just a simple value so now if i save nothing has changed but if i click on this one now let me inspect and let's see inside as you can see this first div is uh, selected it has this uh, class name selected if i click again it removes this selected class name let's go to our styles so we can add some uh, bug drop or something so um, for capture images a div inside that has also a class name of uh, selected we want it to get a position relative because we are going to add an extra uh, after magic element kind of so let's do position absolute on this one content will be an empty string and inset will be zero and let's say the background color will be rgba uh, let's say it will be white for now 50 percent so now if i click it's uh, white-ish because it has it got this selected class name and it added this after extra magic element here that i defined here for they've selected and it has this background color of uh, white 50 percent but now i think i will change the color from white to blue kind of so uh, let's see this is blue red green blue i will change red and green to just 100 yes and may maybe i can make it uh, more visible like 60 percent yeah i think this work uh, Maybe I will also add some gap between the images. So let's do a gap of uh, five pixels. Maybe that's too much. Let's just do two. Yes. And uh, maybe we can also center the images. So uh, let's do align items center. Uh, yeah. And now they are more centered because those are not super exact squares. But you can fix it yourself. The images will be uh, linked inside the, the description right so uh, let's close this one so we have our images and uh, as you can see if we refresh i, I keep refreshing the images are still the same so uh, what do we want to do now we have the correct paths to our images so inside session we can read the session inside the api endpoint and we can validate if it's uh, if it's correct or not 
so we can select those and send and now on the back end so on inside the api endpoint we can validate if those selected indexes are actually paths to dogs images so uh, i think now we need another endpoint for actually sending this form so uh, let's maybe first open our index and uh, well let's fix so we can send it so uh, we need uh, we have an input but we don't have any state for our input so let's start with this uh, let's say it will be a message and set message and default will be use state default will be an empty string and here we can use value message and uh, also we need to put it's not here on change we get an event and we do set message event target value all right so now this should work yes and dance and i refresh and the image is still on the same positions right so now maybe i can fix this uh, button uh, function let's say i will put a function called uh, send so send and uh, this button will do on click it will do send right so the first thing i will check if we have a message or if we don't have a message i would just do alert um the message is empty or required and return here so it doesn't go uh, further down now um, now i want to send a request to our api endpoint i'll create a new endpoint that will go api slash send and here we'll have uh, some extra params or maybe some extra yeah, configuration and uh, so let's put it here so uh, we want to send it as post so let's do method post and we need to put uh, send some body and uh, the body will be inside the json stringify because this needs to be a string so um the body will be a message as message so we can just put it actually like this because the name will be the same and now i want to have uh, selected indexes indexes and uh, and send it as well but now the thing is let me put this on separate rows like this now the thing is that selected indexes are actually uh, inside our captcha so if we open this one you can see we are saving selected indexes here inside the state but uh, we can actually send uh, we can actually have it here as well so i will put here const selected indexes set selected indexes you stay default with an empty array and for our captcha i will pass a method or a property on change and i will ask our captcha to run this on change when something changes and when something changes inside captcha i mean if the selection changes i want our captcha to run our said selected indexes said selected indexes like this so now inside captcha we get a property called on change and we want this this will be a function passed from our index page we want this to run when selected indexes change so as you can see we are updating selected indexes here here and here uh, but the easy way to change uh, to check uh, when it's changed what when it changes will be to use uh, effect use effect so let's do use uh, effect the first param will be an empty arrow function for now and the second is dependency and our dependency will be selected indexes so now when selected indexes change this arrow function will run so when selected indexes change we want to run on change that we get from our as a property here param and we will just put selected indexes so this is actually here on change it will run sets, uh, selected indexes and it will set the indexes here inside our state so we can use selected indexes even here we could change the names here it doesn't really matter so uh, i can copy this and i can put it here and uh, this should work let's uh, let's see because this is the same name we can just skip this uh, colon thing now let's open network and let's see i'll put uh, test here 
and I will select only one and I will hit uh, send and let's see we get 404 because we haven't declared the endpoint yet but let's see what do we send we send the message test and selected index is zero that's correct if I select another one hit send we get selected indexes zero and four so that's that's correct and uh, here everything uh, works so we are sending this uh, post here uh, but then we get some response uh, for now we don't have this endpoint yet but we get a response later that we can do some things with but for now let's define this send endpoint so inside pages api let's create a new endpoint called send.js and uh, because we need to access our session here as well i will use this uh, export uh, default and with sorry with iron session api route so uh, thanks to this we can access uh, our session data inside handler that we'll put as the first param. So here I will put the function, let's call this one handler, and we get here request and response. And I guess it will be async here. So let's just put it here just in case. And the second param for our uh, with iron session API route is uh, options that we need to pass here as well. Uh, password and the um, cookie's name cookie name the cookie name was session and the password was uh, we have it inside the env file so process env session secret right so now here we can access our uh, session so uh, first we can grab what has been sent so um, but one thing i forgot about let's quickly jump to index.js and when we are sending we are sending body but i need to also add headers i forgot about headers i need to send headers and i need to send the content type content type to uh, application json so the json will work here right so um let's grab uh, some stuff from request body so what do we need we need the message because as you can see inside our index page, we are sending message and selected indexes. So let's grab those two selected indexes and uh, we are grabbing the information from the request. And now let's just maybe res respond with an empty JSON. And I will just do a console log message and selected indexes to see how it looks like. Let's see here inside our console. And if I send, can see that the message has been is test and selected indexes is an array of zero and four right so now the thing is i need to check this if it's the same as in the session so uh, let's see maybe what do we have uh, inside the session so let's do um, inside the session so let's do request session images uh not images um sorry it's uh, capture images yes and uh, let's see how this thing looks like so images uh, maybe not here let's do this inside console log and um, yeah i will put it like this and capture images and i want to print the capture images so now if i hit send you can see that uh, the method is test the selected indexes is zero and four let me uh, make this bigger and inside capture images we have a, a decrypted paths to the images and now i need to check if uh, on those paths is uh, i need to check if dogs are only on position zero and four position zero is here so you can see it's dog four so yeah it's a dog and position four is one two three four here we have a muffin so this is wrong and the captcha is invalid as you can see here we get the muffin selected right so uh, now so now let's um, validate our captcha first so i'll make some space here and uh, how we can validate our captcha we can go inside this and we can check what indexes are actually dogs so let's put const and dogs indexes and uh, here we have all images and uh, we need to map through those and uh, instead of uh, let's say it will be path here 
and now we can map through those. All right, so now if we just return a path, it will be the same array, but uh, we want to actually return an index. So we need to also work with indexes here. So when we are mapping through, the path will change. It will be like dog3, muffin4, and so on. And the index will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, depending on which position inside dog's indexes we are at. So uh, if I would do just return an index, or maybe I can do it will return index and path. So now I can show you inside console log, I will do dogs indexes. And now if I click send again, as you can see the dogs indexes that we have defined here is now index zero, path is this, but I don't need this. I need only dogs indexes. So I need those indexes, those numbers where this path is actually a dog. So I want to return index when uh, when this path is uh, slash dogs and muffins and uh, slash dog something. So I will maybe copy this and I will check path includes this. And if it includes, then I want to return index. Otherwise, uh, let's say I will return minus one. All right, now save. Now if I hit send here, uh, as you can see, we get the uh, dogs indexes. It's zero minus one, two, three minus one. So if it's not dog, uh, if it's not a dog, it uh, shows minus one. Um, we don't want to have maybe those minus one. We only want to have positive numbers. So here I can continue and I can do filter. Um, so let's maybe first put this map here. Let's fix uh, like this. And underneath, let's do filter, uh, filter. And um, here we filter indexes, but now the index can be actually uh, minus one as well. And we want to filter out those. So I want to filter if index is bigger than, uh, bigger or equals zero, or I can change to if it's not minus one, then it will uh, be in this dog's uh, indexes. So now let's hit save. Uh, and I got dog's indexes is zero, two, three, and six. So zero, two, and three, and six. So that's correct. So now I just need to compare dogs indexes and the selected indexes. So now if I hit send, I get dogs indexes are those, selected indexes are those. Um, the easiest way to compare an, an array is actually to use uh, JSON uh, stringify. So JSON stringify, dogs indexes equals json stringify selected indexes and if the strings those strings are the same because uh, let me show you this will not work if we don't stringify let's say we will create an array of zero or one two and three and we check if it's the same as one two and three and as you can see it says false because uh, those are two different objects and two different arrays. Even if the values are the same, uh, this is not equal. So if we put it uh, as a stringify, those will be converted to strings and uh, the strings will be the same. So uh, we can put it as uh, captcha is uh, okay equals and this. So now we can also maybe console log captcha is okay. And now let's see if I send captcha is okay false because uh, the indexes are not the same. But if I do this correctly, this, 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 and this send captcha is okay is true because dogs indexes and selected indexes are the same. But let me show you something. If I select first this one and this one, then this one, there's this one, and I send and the message is required. Okay, let's do test. Let's send captcha is okay is false. Why? Docs indexes are 0, 2, 3, 6, but selected indexes are 2, 6, 0, 3. And when we do those as strings, uh, as you can see, they have different uh, orders of the numbers. So we need to sort those, those arrays first. So uh, dogs indexes are also always in correct order, but selected indexes maybe not. So I will sort them here before we will stringify to JSON string. 
So now if I send again, it's uh, it's correct because uh, well, docs uh, index is uh, zero two three six and select index is uh, also zero two three six and the capture is okay true. Let's uh, try again. I will select this one, this one, this one, this one. Send message required. Okay, let's put test send capture is okay true and uh, yeah the order is the same all right so uh, now we want to maybe put this information here as a json as a response captcha is okay so we are going to send it back to our react app we don't need to console log this anymore and uh, but let's say we want to send this uh, message here that we get here test so um Let's define sent, and this will be true or false depending if we sent this or not. And uh, let's say we only send if the captcha is okay, right? So here we can also pass sent to know if it has been sent or not. Uh, here inside, uh, you should also send for real. So uh, with this message, you can either save it inside a database or you can send it with email or doesn't matter. I will not send it. Uh, I will not do anything with this in this tutorial. Uh, I will only validate this captcha and then we'll respond. Yeah, it was actually sent even if it wasn't. So, uh, but there are a few things to fix uh, now. The first is, uh, okay, and let me refresh. Uh, even if I'm wrong, let's say test here, even if the captcha is wrong, I can actually validate maybe captcha first. Let's go to index page and we get response. Uh, so let's parse this response. Response JSON and then we get JSON and we can do stuff with this. So we can check if uh, JSON sent, then we can alert uh, message sent. And we can also check uh, and we can clear the message here. So let's do set message empty string. And we can also check if not JSON um, captcha is okay. So if the captcha is not okay, we need to alert and say uh, wrong captcha, try again. But now the problem is let's do this wrong. And uh, it says wrong captcha, try again. But we can try again with the same images in the same positions. And because we have unlimited numbers of tries, we can actually like write a bot that will try different combination and it will break our captcha. So the thing is, if we are wrong with the captcha solution here, resolving our captcha, we want to reset our captcha and change the images. So uh, here we have a captcha image endpoint. And here we are generating new capture images and we are saving this uh, to our session. But the thing is, when we are sending here, if the captcha is not okay, so let's say here, if captcha is not okay, then we want to reset our captcha. Reset captcha images. So uh, to reset our captcha images, we want we need to get inside the request uh, session captcha images capture images and we want to run the same function this function uh, so we can actually export it from here so we can use it here uh, it was new capture images yes and it has been imported for me here so if, if your text editor code editor doesn't do this doesn't do this automatically for you you need to add this line on the top right so if the capture is not okay then we reset it and we say try again you, you were wrong, so um, let's try. Um, I click send, wrong capture, try again, okay. But you see, nothing have changed. And the images, the session have changed, or maybe not, no, I, I forgot to save the session first. So let's do await, request, session, save, All right? Now try, we get actually the same images, so let's see, something is wrong. Send, message is required, okay, let's do test, send. Wrong captcha, try again. If I click OK, the image doesn't change, but uh, they should be different. Let's see if I refresh. Now they have changed. Right, so I need to refresh the images if the captcha is wrong. So let's go here and let's see. Wrong captcha, try again. So here we want to refresh our captcha. But the thing is, um, our captcha is here. 
our component is here and we want to tell this uh, uh, CAPTCHA to refresh. How can we refresh the images? Let's open CAPTCHA and let's see. Here we have paths to our images. And to refresh images, we can add an extra param here, like a key or something. Key and let's say here we'll have a random string or something. So uh, let's say we will put, uh, now it will work uh, because uh, we added this extra param. Let's put here a captcha key and set captcha key as a use state default will be an empty string. And this captcha key will be put here. So um, let's say it will be captcha key and we'll send it like this inside our captcha. We can grab it from here, captcha key, and we can put it here, captcha key. So if we change this captcha key that comes from this uh, property here, param, then it will be different image URL, then it will reload the image and uh, it will not use the cached image. So let's see, mm, because if we don't change it, if the image is always uh, slash captcha image index zero, even if we change in the backend that the image would be different, the browser doesn't know this, doesn't know that the same URL will now actually return a different image. So to fix this, we are also passing this, uh, some random things here. So every time we check, change this, the image, the browser will check, uh, will grab the image because the URL is different. So um, for now, this uh, captcha key is uh, empty um, and uh, maybe let's uh, add some default. So let's say we will put a default inside the uh, server side props. Let's do export default as uh, get server side props. And here we'll put return props. And um, well, let's put it like this. And this should go here. And let's say it will return default captcha key. And let's say it will be just a timestamp. So let's do new date get time. And now we can use this default capture. Uh, should be export default. Should be export function. Yeah. Now we can use this here. Default capture key, and we can send. We can set it here. Default capture key as uh, default for our state for capture key. Now, if I refresh, let's open this one. And as you can see, uh, oh, uh, this is not uh, correct because it's object object shouldn't be like this uh, instead it should be oh sorry here we should have like curly brackets now if i refresh you can see we have a timestamp here and if i refresh again it's different timestamp but the image is the same why the image is the same because on our server we are only checking the position and until we try to solve this capture we will not change the image so uh, this key we are not checking this on the server we are only using this for our browser so it will grab this image again to check if it's the same right but uh, we want to also update this key uh, after we say uh, capture is uh, actually wrong uh, so let's do here set capture key and here just new date and get time so now uh, the, ca the key ends with uh, 1257 and let's put the message here test and let's try to send it wrong captcha try again and now if I click OK whoops this is not uh, what I expected let's see let's close this one um, you stay default captcha key uh, something is wrong let's see get time OK I forgot about those Let's refresh. Let's inspect here. You can see now the key ends with 5845. If I send a message, it will send. Wrong captcha, try again. And now the key has changed to 7469. So now the browser tries to fetch this image because it knows it can be different because the URL is different. And it's actually different because you tried to solve the captcha uh, you haven't passed the captcha, so we create a new captcha, so you can't guess forever uh, with the same captcha because uh, 
it would be too easy. So every time you try to solve the captcha and you are wrong, then we are resetting captcha for to create a new captcha. Uh, one thing that I am wrong with, if I send here and then it's still selected, mm, so uh, actually I can go to captcha. Let's see. Let's go to captcha and uh, selection. We need to reset it every time this uh, captcha key changes. So we can do another use effect here, empty arrow function. And now uh, dependencies will be actually our captcha key. So when captcha key changes, we will run this arrow function. And this arrow function will only do set selected indexes to empty array. So if I click send here, run captcha, try again, and it will uh, update captcha key to a new timestamp. And then this will change and this will run. All right, so uh, now it works. Now let's see what happens if our captcha is okay. Uh, select all dogs. So this, 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 and send. Message send, okay. And this has been cleared, but this selection is not that good. So, uh, and the captcha should be resetted here as well. So let's go to index.js and let's see. Uh, when the message has been sent, we can also reset this captcha key. So. Uh, let's see, let's do test, uh, one, two, three, and let's select all the dogs, send, message send, okay, the selection has been removed, but uh, the images are actually the same, and this is because if we open send endpoint, you can see we are resetting captcha only if the captcha is not okay, so we can actually get rid of this, and we can reset captcha every time someone tries to send something. So um, when you send something, let's say test one, two, three, let's select all dogs. Doesn't matter if you are or, uh, if you are okay with the capture, if the capture has been solved correctly, we are going to reset the capture for a next message, or we are going to reset capture for a new retry if you are wrong. So I hit send, wrong capture, try again, because I forgot about this one. And now we are resetting, uh, but the message hasn't been cleared. So now select all dogs, message sent, because I was uh, correct with the captcha. Okay. And now it generated a new captcha and it cleared the message. So I can send another message, test, other message, select all dogs, send, message sent. Okay. Now I will do wrong here, test one, two, three, wrong captcha, try again. The message stays. So uh, everything works. Uh, let's say now I will send the message. Yes, message send. Yeah, everything works. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. And if you want to see more like this one, you should definitely check my channel for other videos or subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.